Good evening, guys. This is uh, Victor Uniform 2 Uniform Charlie Romeo. Uh, handle is Hari, and uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, I'd like to show you uh, a custom build for a portable Yagi that I've made for my Porta operations and uh, field operations. I made this Yagi using four rips commercially available and uh, also Y connectors bought off eBay. Links for uh, everything which I will post and uh, also uh, commercially available booms which I bought locally in Bangalore, India and uh, custom cut it with uh, different uh, variations uh, to uh, get a good uh, front and back uh, ratio. So guys, uh, stand by and uh, I'll show you what I do. Uh, to start with, uh, this is a home brewed. Uh, or rather manufactured locally here, I would say, a car stand. Uh, right now here I put some two concrete blocks uh, because uh, this is my shack uh, area and I use this to test uh, different antennas and uh, try and stick things into this <laughs> which I'd like to test over a period of time. So temporarily I've got some counterweight here, otherwise my car wheel goes on to this. There's uh, another video, one of my very early videos uh, where I've spoken about uh, how I've made this uh, using telescoping poles, the blue one there you can see. There are five sections of five feet each, roughly 25 feet, and I have a top section of uh, another six or seven feet. Uh, it goes up to almost 30 feet or 32 feet roughly. 30 feet I would say to keep it stable with guy rings and everything. There's uh, another video I've made uh, where I've shown how I've locally made the telescopic uh, collapsible mast with uh, nylon spacers and stuff like that. That's another video, I'll post a link for that. Today we are going to talk about my uh, portable uh, Yagi, which I've made for my uh, field operations. So it basically consists of uh, these three uh, square tubes, each are about uh, four feet long, as you can see. These are about four feet long, each tube. And uh, the main center tube is about an inch and a quarter square, an inch and a quarter, quarter square uh, cross section. And I have uh, two more pieces of uh, one inch or a little more than one inch uh, so that uh, it telescopes, it telescopes into this uh, other pole on either side. Now. You can see that I have this going in the center and each of those going to either side. So I have four feet here and you can see I have some markings made here with these pins available on eBay again. These are uh, press fit pins to lock your poles in to whichever position you want. You don't have to waste time uh, screwing and putting on bolts, nut and bolts. Just lock this in because it's a pretty light antenna doesn't take much. So this consists of the main uh, base component of the antenna. Then again from uh, JPC7 antennas on eBay, I'll post the links again. You get this Y connectors. As you can see from JPC antenna, these are Y connectors available freely on eBay. And uh, you also get this holders, you know. Uh, these should be available in your local store. Here in India, we get them quite easily to put different kind of elements. And you get this in different sizes as well to fit your uh, different elements or whips or whatever. And uh, lastly, you get this from JPC7 uh, um, again, a one is to one balloon. Again from eBay, uh, links for which I'll be posting at the bottom of this video. Also guys, initially when I made this uh, portable Yagi antenna consisting of uh, these four whips you can see here. These are uh, 5.2 meter whips extending up to 17 feet totally. Uh, this was uh, 
manual in the sense that I had to turn my portable Yagi around uh, by loosening this stud chuck nuts on this and then turning this pole around so that the Yagi turns around. That was the way it was done earlier. Now we have uh, this uh, locally manufactured uh, DC motor with a speed of uh, one rotation per minute. It is made by uh, two uh, Indian hams. It's called R RJD66 and right now this is on uh, uh, trial basis with me. It's working very well. And uh, VU2JXM is uh, the ham who is spearheading this uh, project of his to give portable DC uh, rotators, azimuth only rotators as of now. And uh, they've also written a very small uh, user interface which goes on to any Windows uh, laptop or tablet where you can control the uh, direction of the antenna and also uh, the angle and degrees. You can do that. So let's assemble the antenna guys. As you can see, uh, it doesn't take too long to set this up. Uh, probably one person doing it, you might take about 15, 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, and this looks heavy. The only heavy part is the motor, roughly two and a half kilos. But uh, these are all aluminum tubings. This is uh, at my home QTH and not in the field. So I have some guy wires from my antenna. Uh, you can show the antenna there. I have some guy wires from my antenna, so because of which I don't want to be lifting this uh, higher. And uh, but as you can see, it's pretty easy uh, to even take this to the next level. So I normally try and have it about uh, 15 to 18 feet in my field operations, which I find is very sufficient. And uh, I also just pull the elements out just to show you guys. Uh, quick deployment so you can tune that 20 uh, 17 15 10 12 etc as you know it's a 5.2 meter whip and uh, this uh, motor that's going to be a completely different video where i'll show you the operation of how this dc motor works it's a simple dc motor it's connected to a power supply uh, 12 volts power supply and also uh, there's uh, connection going into your uh, uh, tablet or computer with which you can control the rotation of the motor really and uh, so you really don't have to get up from your table when you're doing a porta and flip it around to uh, show uh, to turn it to the direction where you think there's some activity happening and uh, to show you the whip I'm sure you're all aware this also is available on uh, eBay it's a 5.2 meter whip as usual and you can buy these off, they're pretty cheap. I think you get a pair for about $18 or something on eBay when I bought them at least about a year back. So this is a video I made just to show guys who have been asking me what, it, what are the components that went into it. And as you can see, this boom is also adjustable. The center boom is four and then I have four and four, so totally 12. But I have it telescoping in for stability, so it doesn't sag. And I can adjust it, adjust this boom from 10 feet, nine feet, I can push this in uh, to make it shortest. Right now, I think it is at about nine. Uh, yeah, it's about nine. I can get it out to 10 or I can push this in to make it eight feet, both sides if I do the same thing. Uh, I've noticed that nine feet is approximately where the best uh, conditions are for the front back ratios and uh, I've got best results with the boom being nine feet long and uh, the four whips uh, radiating and reflecting guys. So 
this is my build which I've been wanting to put on uh, tape for a long time and uh, I hope you guys like this uh, next video I will show you the operations probably get some QSOs on a field and also show you how this motor works and uh, I would like to also uh, showcase my new ZBTEX from HF Signus, which is a absolutely fabulous uh, QRP radio. I managed to get a QSO from uh, Bangalore, India to uh, Florida, where uh, Stan has a net India local time 5.30 every day. And uh, on two, two watts, I get a 5758 report from him. So guys, stay tuned and uh, look for all the links and also the previous videos for the construction of this uh, telescopic aluminum mast if you guys are interested in that and stay tuned for more uh, view to ucr 73 bye bye